hello out there welcome to this tutorial on log readings in this video we'll be looking at powers and roots we'll be evaluating powers and roots using the log reading tables if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel or visit www.olinaresources.com check our mathematical center for more videos on logarithms so we start with our first problem problem one evaluate 3.297 to the power of 5 um, we will be making use of table so we have our number and log the number 3.297 to the power of 5 will be placed under the number column then the integer part of the logarithm here is zero then we'll place our point on the logarithm table we check 32 under 9 differences of 7 and that gives 5181 then this is power 5 and this power is a whole number so we multiply by 5 so if we multiply by 5 we are going to have 5 this is 40 you write 0 carry 4 this is 5 plus 4 giving us 9 5 times 5 25 we write 5 and carry the 2 we place our point 5 times 0 gives 0 plus 2 that we carried from here gives 2 we then find the anti of 2.5905 to do that we keep this integer part we then check 0.59 under 0 differences of 5 from the anti logarithm table so 0.59 under 0 differences of 5 gives 3895 we then add 1 to the integer part which is 3 we count 3 digits 1 2 3 and place a decimal point so we now have 389.5 as evaluation from 3.297 to the power of 5. So we are done with problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, we have roots here. So we see present our work in a table, number and log. So we are to evaluate cube root of 909.7. We are going to write this as index form. Remember our law of indices. This is root 3. It becomes raised to power 1 over 3. So that we have 909.7 raised to power 1 over 3. We then find log redeem of 909.7. The integer part of the log redeem is 2. We place our point. From the log redeem table, 90 under 9 differences of 7 gives 5989. Um, the fractional index we have here has a numerator 1. So since the numerator is 1, what we do is we just divide by 3. It would have been as good as saying multiply by 1 over 3. Since we are multiplying by 1 over 3, it's still the same thing as dividing by the denominator which is 3. So 2.9589 divided by 3 gives 0 0.9863. And this is what we are going to look for its anti log reading to get the answer to the cube root of 909.7. So we keep this integer part and check 0.9863 from the anti log reading table and that gives 9690 we add 1 to this 0 it becomes 1 we then count one digit and place a decimal point and that is after 9 so the cube root of 909.7 is 9.690 and that's all for problem 2 we then go to problem 3 for problem 3 Evaluate 2.785 raised to power 3 over 4. Correct to 3 significant figures. 
So in a tabular form again, we have the number 2.785 raised to the power 3 over 4. We check the logarithm of 2.785 from the table. Then the integer part first is 0. We place our point. 27 under 8 differences of 5 gives 4448. We then go ahead to apply the powers you have here. Remember, if we are to apply the law of indices here, this is going to be fourth root, then raised to the power 3, which means we are multiplying by 3 over 4, which is as good as multiplying by 3 and then divide by 4. And since division comes first, or anyone can come first between multiplication and division, but for the purpose of this lesson, we are dividing by 4 first. So we divide by 4, which is the denominator of the fractional index. And that will give us 0 0.1112. Then we go ahead to multiply by the numerator of the fractional index, which is multiplying by 3. And that gives 0 0.3336. Then this is where we are going to find the anti-logarithm. So to find the anti-logarithm of this, we keep this integer part. We look for 0.33 under 3 differences of 6 from the anti-logarithm table. And that gives 2156. We then come back to the integer part. We add 1. We told you adding that 1 is constant. So... 0 plus 1 is 1. We count the first digit and place the decimal point. Therefore, 2.785 raised to power 3 over 4 is 2.156. And correcting to three significant figures, we have it as 2.16. Since this 6 is more than half, we round it up by adding 1 to this 5 to give us 2.16 to three significant figures. This is the end of solution to problem three. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel or visit our website www.uninabresources.com to get more videos on logarithms. Until we come your way again, goodbye.